It says indicate part B, indicate the number of impaired electrons for the following. It says no low gas and then NS and then NP5. Express your number as an integer. Okay, so I have some type of noble gas. And then again, this is the condensed um, electron configuration. Right? So I have some type of noble, noble gas here. Um, and then it says NS2 and NP5 here. And it's asking us, uh, what, is, what is the number of the unpaired electrons? Well, if you look at, if you draw the energy lot double, energy level diagram here if i have my ns and where n here is kin is basically our principal quantum number and that's two which is good so this is fully uh fully um fully um fully it's filled fully filled <laughs> and then i have uh np5 here and these are going to be my np orbitals and i have five so i have one two three four and five now it's asking us indicate the number of unpaired electrons so in this case this electron here is unpaired right so this here is one so th the first question, the answer for the part B is one. And let's check my answer here. So that's good, right? Let's choose one electron pair. So that's good. Um, so the solution here is correct. And let me do another one for part C. Part C is this guy here. And they actually they actually use a different uh, different approach here. They use the spin numbers, and then they uh, they they said that this here is uh, spin half, so which means this one has to be negative half, which means I have one uh, unpaired electron. Um, either way, yeah, both both solutions work here. I, I I like I personally like drawing the energy level diagram so I can show students uh, which levels are higher in terms of s and p orbitals as well, and it's also it also gets you into the habit of what those are. So part C is also asking us again. I have a noble gas here and then I have this is NS2, NS2 and then N and then question mark one. I don't know what that is. And then D2 or ND2. Oh, I think it's N minus one. N minus one and then D2. Oh, I don't, I don't know what this question mark is. I'm, I'm, it might be a formatting issue here. So I'm gonna scroll down to look at this N1 here. I don't know what this means here. This 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 A here might be a formatting issue. The, the very very bad spelling as well. I think it's n minus one, n minus one. Yeah yeah yeah, because it says n minus one, n minus one, and then d two. So again, I'm looking at these guys here. Uh, I'm looking at n minus one d two here, and it says here. So if I'm looking at my periodic table here. I have, uh, again, uh, it's my S2 orbitals are filled, so it's two orbitals are filled, and I have D2, right? So it has to be D2 here. So it's either the, it's either titanium or zirconium in this case here, and it really depends on what uh, what integer this N is. If N here was 4, so I have 4 S2, so let me write down here. If N equals 4, then I can say I have 4 S2, and this would be 3 D and then two, right? However, if n oh, if n equals five, then I have a different. If n here equals five, then I can say I have five s two, and this would be four d two here. So it really depends on which uh, what what number is my principal quantum number, and this one it would relate to two different chemicals, right? So this here is titanium, and this here is zirconium. So this here would be Ti, and this one would be not Zn, I think it's Zr for zir zirconium. Yeah, Zr here. So this solution, again, it says here, uh, identify the group of elements. So it's here. So if NS2 is filled, then this could be group one or group two. If N minus one D2 group, this is a 4B or the second row of uh, transition metals. So this here, it would be my transition metals like so. And it really depends if this one is uh, paired or not, if this D2 exists or not. So this solution here is correct, because again, I, they have group 4B here, which is what these guys are here. Um, and then it's saying if it's just NS2 here, then it's simply just uh, these S2 orbitals. So I'm going to have no unpaired electrons here. So in this case, um, I don't know if they're asking us, are they asking us unpaired electrons? Oh no, it's just the group of elements here. So this here is group four. So the solution here is correct. Okay, uh, I'm not going to do part D, E, F, G, I'm just, and H. I'm just going to look at the solution to uh, kind of, uh, just explain to you what they're doing here, just for the sake of time. Again, uh, again I have NS2, this is N minus 1, D2. So uh, it's asking us how many unpaired electrons in this case. So in this case here, I have uh, a two, the first two electrons are unpaired, right? So I can draw this out for you. And it's using the exact same thing as this guy here, right? So I have, again, um, I'm going to only draw the 3D block here. So I have 5, 
this is 3D here, and then I have simply one and two, right? So again, these first two electrons will be unpaired. So this one's correct, part D is correct. Part E here says I have noble gas, NS2, N minus one, D10, and NP1, right? So let's look at this block here. And it says I want the group of elements, right? So again, NS2, which means these two are filled, D10, so I have my transition metals are filled as well, and NP1. So in this case, it's relating to group 13, right? This here is P1 here, which is group 13. And as you can see, this is a 3A group, which is the same thing as group 13. So the solution here is correct. Part F is asking us indicate the number of unpaired electrons for, I believe it's probably for the same one here. So in this case, um, I mean, I guess I'll write this one down here. Um, I have, again, some sort of noble gas here. And then I have NS2, N minus one D10, and then I have NP1. So if I'm looking at NP1 here, so let me, let me, oh, let me draw this out. I have NS2 here. N minus one D10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then my NP block here would be like something like here, maybe. I don't know, like here. The NP. And this is simply just one. So I have one electron in the P block, which means I have one unpaired electron. So this solution here is correct as well. I have one electron. So one electron here. So if they said N equals one, that's good. And finally, G and H is um, the exact same thing, which so says identify the elements that correspond to this group here. So I have, uh, let me write this down. Noble gas is NS2, N, and this is minus two now, and then F6 here. So I'm in the F block now. So this is what, so my lanthanides are my actinides are my F blocks here. So this here would be a, um, this here is a 4F block, and this here is a 5F block here. So again, um, I'm looking at F6 here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So it would be in this category here. Um, and this here would be, um, the elements here are S, M, and P, U. And these two are my elements here. And I don't think uh, they actually wrote that down here. So I'm going to write S, M, and P, U for that solution for part, this is for part G. Uh, elements are S, M, PU. And then for uh, part H here, it's looking at, okay, how many electrons are filled here? So I can go and look, draw my energy level diagram again. And as you can see, F6 here is, I have, uh, the block here is very, 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 very long. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15 here. Um, in this case here, I have, it's an F6, right? So this here would be six, uh, a six pair of unpaired electrons because F block is 18 electrons long. So you can say um, some type of N minus two F block. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine here. So nine, because uh, I have 18 electrons in total, and then I only have six, so I have one, two, three, four, five, and six here. So, so again, this, in this case here, I have six electrons that will be unpaired here six electrons here and as you can see um this correct one's correct six electrons are impaired so i'm saying part g elements are s m and p u for uh for this guy here for for that for the electron configuration as follows so noble gas here i'm going to write this here is minus two f6 here uh, so the solution, uh, depending if n would equal 6 or if n here equals 7. So the solution is uh, is correct for the most part, but I'm just going to correct uh, that one part. So the solution is mostly correct. Uh, one correction. So all other parts are correct. So I'm just going to say it's correct for the sake of, uh, for the sake of this question here.